So there was a theory, or rather hypothesis, going around saying that Zygarde is based on Loki and or his children. I honestly don't think this is the case. Let's look at the facts starting with a comparison to the other two members of this legendary trio, Xerneas and Yveltal. Xerneas represents life and is based on the world tree Yggdrasil, which in Norse mythology is of course the source of all life. Yveltal, on the other hand, represents death and is based on the eagle-shaped warp swallower Heismelg. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Both of these seem to fit their inspirations pretty well. Zygarde, on the other hand, has forms that are said to be based on Fenfear, the one who bit off Tyr's hand, the Midgar serpent Jormungand Jormungandgur, who was killed by Thor in Hell, the Keeper of Dead, or Loki, the Trickster God and Bringer of Ragnarok. And there's just one slight problem with that. Aside from Hell, all of these creatures are known to be inherently evil, while Zygarde, on the other hand, as the name suggests, a guardian of the Kalos region, which means that his name actually has nothing to do with Jormungandr. Grr. Uh, let's look at Zygarde's Pogedex entries. When the Kalos region's ecosystem falls into disarray, it appears and reveals its secret power. It's hypothesized that it's monitoring those who destroy the ecosystem from deep in the cave where it lives. Furthermore, the anime seems to strongly imply that it's humans who will wind up destroying the ecosystem, possibly as a result of Team Flare activating the Doomsday weapon powered by Yvelto. Though, they would likely ultimately be stopped by Ash and his friends who may or may not be aided by the Red Zygarde Corps, and possibly the Blue One. Now, that's interesting. It seems like its role in Kalos is to prevent an event like Ragnarok, not cause it. Why would a creature that's meant to protect be based on creatures who are meant to destroy and one that rules over the dead, especially when the other two members of this legendary trio match their inspiration so well? Now, I imagine it is still possible that due to its connection to an event like Ragnarok, it means that it could possibly be based on these creatures, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but of course, if not then, then what could Zygarde's forms actually be based on? Until next time, stay determined.